discover the latest developments in the space industry as SpaceX shines a light on Boeing's Starliner project, sparking controversy with NASA. Uncover the reasons behind Boeing's decision to cease manufacturing a new rocket following Starliner's setback. In this video, we delve into the recent developments in the space industry as SpaceX exposes Boeing's Starliner project, causing NASA to express their discontent. Learn more about Boeing's decision to halt manufacturing on a new rocket due to Starliner failure and why astronauts are favoring SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft. Witness the success of SpaceX and their unparalleled achievements in the realm of space exploration. Find out why astronauts are turning to SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft over Boeing's offering. Last century, Boeing has always been a formidable name in the field of manufacturing rockets, aircraft, and many other vehicles for the United States. In particular, they also supported NASA a lot in building the legendary rocket that brought humans to the moon for the first time. Saturn V, as well as contributing to the development of the space shuttle. But in this century, Boeing showed that they were just an aged empire compared to the times. Their own rockets or the rockets they have under the ULA joint venture like Atlas V or Delta IV clearly cannot be on par with new rockets, like SpaceX's including Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, or Starship. As a result, those rockets had to retire one by one. The biggest hope of Boeing right now is probably the Vulcan Centaur. The rocket achieved its first success earlier this year. However, to achieve that success, the Vulcan Centaur also experienced many years of delay. Boeing is currently truly weak in the competition with new generation companies like SpaceX. This is probably something they wouldn't think of 10 years ago. That's why, at that time, they decided to compete with SpaceX with a vehicle called Starliner. After the space shuttle was retired, NASA had to rely on private companies to develop solutions to send crew to the ISS. Boeing is also involved with this project with Starliner. Setting high expectations can often lead to disappointment, and that's precisely what happened to NASA with Boeing's Starliner project. Boeing was given a crucial task, but they never achieved the things they promised. On top of that, recent developments with SpaceX have exposed them even more, leading many to question Boeing's competence. This situation has raised doubts about the program's future and could possibly lead to its cancellation. The Boeing Starliner story began with high expectations when NASA awarded Boeing a significant part of its commercial crew program. In 2014, as part of an effort to bring astronaut launches back to American soil, Boeing received $4.2 billion to develop the Starliner spacecraft for crewed missions to the International Space Station. This was a key move in ending the U.S.'s reliance on Russian Soyuz spacecraft for transporting astronauts to the International Space Station. However, the project encountered numerous hurdles. While initial timelines projected crewed flights by 2017, technical challenges and testing failures pushed these dates further back. Unlike SpaceX, which seemed to progress more smoothly with its Crew Dragon spacecraft, Boeing's journey was more problematic. One of the Starliner's critical moments came during an uncrewed test flight in December 2019. A software malfunction prevented the spacecraft from reaching the International Space Station, marking a significant setback. This failure led to extensive reviews, delaying the program as Boeing worked to fix the issues. Meanwhile, SpaceX's success in launching its Crew Dragon with astronauts in May 2020 added pressure on Boeing. The expectation was for Boeing to quickly follow suit, but the company faced continued delays. The software issue from the 2019 test wasn't just a minor hiccup. It revealed deeper challenges in Boeing's approach to the Starliner. Financial implications were also significant. Boeing had to absorb extra costs resulting from these delays and technical issues. Despite these setbacks, NASA continued to support the Starliner project. Now, almost seven years after the initial timeline for the Starliner, Boeing and NASA decided to go for a launch, but not surprisingly, it got delayed again. This time, the crewed flight test is postponed to no earlier than May 1, 2024. The plan was to launch in mid-April, but the International Space Station's schedule caused the delay. Right now, the International Space Station is pretty crowded hosting seven vehicles, including two Dragon capsules and four Soyuz capsules. Some experts are now questioning whether NASA should have the ability to cancel contracts when companies fail to meet, agreed timelines, and other standards. This situation puts Boeing, one of the oldest and most powerful companies in aerospace, in a tough spot. 
their struggle to achieve what seems like a simple goal, especially when you compare it to SpaceX's achievements, increases the pressure on them. SpaceX not only met this feat, but also broke multiple records. Achieving milestones that other companies have never even approached. The primary reason behind the high cost of space missions is the rocket engines. Constructing these engines requires advanced materials, precision engineering, and extensive testing to ensure they can withstand the harsh conditions of a launch and operate reliably. When a booster is discarded after a single use, the engines which represent a substantial investment are lost as well. This means that for each new mission, new engines must be built from scratch, driving up the cost of access to space. Even attempts at making rockets partially reusable, like the Space Shuttle program, had their limitations. The shuttle's solid rocket boosters were recovered from the ocean after each flight and refurbished for reuse, but this process was expensive and time-consuming. Additionally, the shuttle's main engines required significant maintenance between flights, which limited the cost-benefits of reusability. Musk started SpaceX exactly for this reason. He noticed the aerospace industry was wasting millions by not reusing rockets. Without any prior experience in this field, Musk believed he could fix this issue by developing rockets that could be launched, landed, and flown again, reducing the overall cost of space travel. Musk achieved his reusability goal first with the Falcon 9 rocket. This was done by equipping the rocket's first stage with technologies that allow it to land back on Earth after launch. The Falcon 9 uses grid fins to steer during its descent and landing legs to land safely. It can land on a drone ship in the ocean or directly back at the launch site, depending on the mission's fuel requirements. For missions where the booster doesn't have enough fuel to return to the launch site, SpaceX uses autonomous spaceport drone ships as landing platforms in the ocean. These drone ships are positioned at specific locations to catch the returning booster. On the other hand, for missions that allow it, the booster returns to a landing zone close to the launch site, where it can be quickly recovered and prepared for its next launch. After landing, whether it's sea or on land, the booster undergoes inspections and refurbishments to ensure it's ready for another flight. Reusing a rocket booster is not as straightforward as it might seem, and achieving this feat is something no other company has accomplished. In just a few decades, SpaceX has achieved what once seemed impossible, launching up to 100 or more rockets per year, all while landing them vertically and reusing them. These feats have established SpaceX as a symbol of innovation and progress in the aerospace industry. SpaceX's capabilities have become so formidable that even esteemed organizations like NASA, which have a storied history of space exploration, now rely heavily on SpaceX for deploying missions and remaining competitive globally. First things first, there's no doubt that NASA has been a pioneer in the aerospace industry, achieving remarkable milestones such as landing humans on the moon. However, in recent years, the agency has faced challenges, including delays and high development costs associated with its systems. One reason for NASA's struggles is its reliance on traditional development methods inherited from previous generations. For example, the Space Launch System rocket, which shares characteristics with the Space Shuttle era, has encountered numerous setbacks and costs overruns. Like NASA, private companies like SpaceX operate under different constraints. For SpaceX, launching rockets is not just a mission but a necessity for survival and competitiveness in the industry. Without the luxury of government funding to offset delays and costs, private companies must navigate a more demanding financial landscape. In this context, SpaceX's agile approach to development and its ability to rapidly iterate and innovate have positioned it as a leader in the aerospace sector. Using the effectiveness of modern practices in contrast to traditional models, indeed the need to compete in the aerospace industry drives private companies like SpaceX to continually innovate and optimize costs. SpaceX in particular has excelled in these areas, setting the standard for high-frequency launches and rocket reusability. From the initial design phase, SpaceX has prioritized features that enable frequent launches and reuse. For instance, the Falcon rockets were equipped with landing support systems such as legs and grid fins early in their development. Similarly, the Starship design incorporates features like stainless steel construction, grid fins, and a heat shield system for re-entry. These innovations have resulted in remarkable achievements for SpaceX, particularly in terms of launch frequency. In February, the Falcon 9 rocket achieved a significant milestone with its 300th launch. 
SpaceX's remarkable launch frequency over the past two years with 60 launches in 2022 and 91 launches in 2023 have made the Falcon 9 the world's most prolific rocket to date. With the current goal of reaching 400 launches, SpaceX is on track to achieve this milestone soon, especially considering their ambitious plan of 148 Falcon 9 launches scheduled for this year. The Falcon 9 has become SpaceX's primary workhorse rocket, facilitating the launch of 1,200 tons of payload into orbit last year alone. Probably the Falcon 9 has played a crucial role in SpaceX's Starlink program, which recently reached a milestone of 6,000 satellites deployed marking halfway to their final target. Additionally, the Falcon 9 has been instrumental in supporting NASA's missions, including resupplying cargo and crews to the International Space Station. Resubmissions such as Crew 8 and Crew 7 have demonstrated the reliability of Falcon 9 in crew transportation. The upcoming missions like Crew 9 plan to maintain operations on the ISS. Furthermore, cargo missions such as CRS-30 launched on March 21 continue to support the scientific research and operations aboard the ISS. Looking ahead, the future of SpaceX hinges on the success of Starship, poised to become the world's largest rocket. Following its third integrated flight, Starship demonstrated significant advancements. The Raptor engine exhibited improved stability, enabling Starship to achieve longer and higher flights. Ultimately reaching orbit. Both stages of the rocket came close to successful landings, particularly Booster B-10, while S-28 initiated the re-entry process, a critical step towards achieving full reusability of rockets in the future. With ongoing progress, I anticipate the remaining tasks will soon be accomplished on the next flight. SpaceX has ambitious plans for Starship this year, with Elon Musk confirming intentions to launch at least six Starship flights. Recent revelations suggest that Flight 4 could launch within the next four weeks. These upcoming flights will serve as vital preparation for SpaceX's pursuit of various goals, notably the Artemis 3 moon mission scheduled for 2026. Once in stable operations, Starship boasting dimensions of up to 122 meters in height, a diameter of 9 and a payload capacity of 150 tons holds the potential for surpassing the achievements of Falcon rockets. Moreover, proposed designs such as version 2 and 3, which could be even larger, promise to enhance Starship's capabilities further. In addition to facilitating launches, SpaceX's rockets, particularly the Falcon 9, play a crucial role in cost savings through the reuse of components such as boosters and fairings. The milestones achieved with these reusable parts are impressive, with boosters reused over 280 times and fairings over 300 times. Notably SpaceX boasts three boosters that have completed up to 19 launches each. This progress signifies significant strides towards SpaceX's goals of 40 launches per booster, with nearly half of the target already achieved. With an ambitious goal of up to 148 missions planned for this year, these accomplishments are expected to continue growing. Furthermore, Falcon 9's companion, the Dragon capsule, demonstrated its reusability in the recent Crew-8 flight, achieving its fifth launch, which aligns with SpaceX's highest set limit. However, there's potential for further advancements in this area, while Starship still in the developmental stage has yet to be reused, I believe that once it achieves this milestone, it will unlock even greater potential than the Falcon rockets. Further solidifying SpaceX's position as a leader in cost-effectiveness and efficiency when it comes to space exploration. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member so click on our perks through the link the description below thanks to watching and see you next time